Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great morning. I'm getting ready for work and I have been um, busy, busy packing and loading my vehicle and I'm drinking my coffee. Yeah, so I think I'm ready to go. So I'm leaving directly from work today. So I have to make sure everything's in my vehicle before I leave for work. Um, so yeah, I've just been running around busy, busy and so I'm having super simple lunch today. I'm just gonna have toast um, because I didn't really wanna make any dishes before I was leaving town. So yeah, I'm just gonna have toast and I never had my smoothie from yesterday. So I'm gonna drink that today. I don't see why it wouldn't still be good and taste good. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to work now. I'll see you in a few hours. Look at how foggy it is this morning. It's so foggy, oh my God. So I'm all done work now and I haven't had anything else to eat. I just had my toast and I have my chai tea latte with soy and there's my driver. Yeah. <laughs> like driving Miss Daisy. Yeah. There's my sister and she's drinking her latte and we're on our way to Fort St. John. So when we stop or do something interesting, I will see you guys again. St. John, look at this cute cup my cousin made. Cousin, this is for your blog. Yeah, don't put their names me. on don't it. Me my I won't yet. <laughs> and oh, come in the door to a drink. Gotta love that. So we're gonna get ready to go out for dinner soon. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What time is it now? Seven twenty-seven. Seven thirty. Twenty-seven. Brenda, lean forward. I can't see you. There you are. <laughs> we are going out for dinner. Where are we going? Brown's, Brown's, Social, Brown's House. Social House. So we will see you in there. Good morning. Good Here morning. we are on the trails. Is there a name for these trails? Uh, Fish Creek. Fish Creek Trails. Mm. We're walking and it's very wintry in here. Brenda already almost broke her leg once. Did, yeah. Let's hope she doesn't break her leg. <laughs> but it's know. very nice in this trail. I'll show you. <laughs> This is oh, how pretty it is. Nice it's so pretty. Love it. There's like so much snow on the ground. Oh, I don't like oh, so much yeah. snow. <laughs> Random. <laughs> this is my good find. Where are we? We're at the we're ABC thrift shop. And look at what I have found. 
<laughs> well, we don't need browns again because it'll be the same menu. Um, Brew House, Original uh, Joe's, wow. Montana's, and I got Mr. My, my, I got some popcorn bowls and a Christmas um, mug. We can go four dollars. <laughs> guys so oh my hair is looking crazy it's um what time is it like 7 30 or 7 o'clock or something and we've been shopping and hanging out all day and now we're in april's laser room brenda's gonna be getting a laser tattoo removal and then i'm gonna be getting my armpit hair laser so here we go i have to up these funky glasses Okay, here's. It's how many treatments have you had on this already? <coughs> Two. Two treatments already. What did it used to be again? <laughs> We're, not sure. Sun We're not sure. We're not sure. Sun, sun ish so far, I think. Well, then yeah. it got cut out because my. Okay, table. We're ready to go. Okay, I'm just April's ready. Test spot just to see if this is strong. Ready? Yeah. Not good. Like, what does it feel like? Tattoo. Oh, really? Tender. That's tender. It's gonna hurt way worse tomorrow. Oh, shit. Trust me. Shit. Way shit. Way that's worse. tender. Oh. Ow. Ow. Done. Done. Okay. Did you get it even? Holy. Yeah. I, it's, it's gone. It's invisible. Whoa. Okay. So now April is going to laser my armpit hair. Doctor April. <laughs> I am super stoked. I use state of the art, the light sheer dew wet by Luminous with lovely disposable sanitary tips, a vacuum assist to make it very nice and gentle. Gentle, keyword. Gentle. Oh. As gentle as laser hair removal could be. Yes. We'll see. Spacito. How a bit of a win. Oh gosh, you can do, you can do this. You said the other one, but what's your natural hair color? Brown. <laughs> Basically, like a vacuum, sucking it up, and then the laser getting a little bit warm. I have you nice and gentle. Okay. Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, that felt weird. Okay, yeah. Oh, ow! That just felt weird. Caught him a whip. Not. And it smells bad. There. Your feels. feet are just right down jerking. Like it's like you're giving childbirth. This is actually incredible. <laughs> it was really good bedside manner. Very good. Very good. Your armpits are so large. It's taking a while. Uh, well, <laughs> thanks, Brenda. I gotta wait till the next time she comes and visits me, so I gotta make sure I do this. One more. One more. Good job. Well, you are jumping every time. I can't help it. The vacuum is a little weird. Okay, so April, what do you I do can now? Definitely shave like normal, no deodorant until tomorrow. Keep the skin cool. And it takes approximately 10 to 21 days for now. I'll do my demonstration, I do for my clients. 
for that hair follicle now that we've damaged the follicle with the diode laser to push out and come out. So shave like normal. I usually give it about seven days and then I shave and then just stop and then you'll see you'll be drastically reduced. That's awesome. I'm excited. But 10 to 21 days for the follicle to come out. Okay. <laughs> now it's Brenda's turn. And you're going to crank it right up. No, you have nothing. Did you even need a treatment? When was the last time you shaved your hairs? I shaved before I came because... Oh, okay. No, I was going to say you've got nothing. One or two days prior, but yeah, I was like a, a tiny little bit of kind of a five o'clock shadow, just so I can keep the energy nice and low. Not long enough so the hair is lying flat against the skin. Oh, <laughs> but just, just a little tiny bit, just so I could see. And then mm. again, it helps me to keep my energy nice and low. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. Like I said, you don't want hair. Like you couldn't come in with growth. But like I said, just a little bit. Is mine just a little bit? Yeah, but you've had treatment, so like uh, you're, you're different. What's your natural? Oh, gray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have said gray for mine too. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> My so the nice thing I love about this machine, if anybody is watching this that doesn't live in Fort St. John, BC, look for a company that offers a light sheer duet because it's truly amazing. Their settings are easy, very safe, very gentle, um, and you see results. And that's what you want, is it's results. Always. Yeah. Yeah, you, I, I'm so impressed with this machine. That's awesome. And you see results in the first treatment. I usually tell people six to eight for, for long-term permanent reduction. So if you can see the difference with you, because you don't have anything really. And so what's the difference? Because your hair doesn't kind of pop out. Oh. So right here you can see a couple little follicles popping out. You can smell it. <laughs> so for you, the nice thing about this is I can change my vacuum setting to low, medium, or high. So Jen <coughs> my was on medium because she had that five o'clock shadow. Oh, okay. You're on high because I need to draw that hair out with a oh, stronger right. vacuum. Lighter, so yeah. see how you can see they're popping out? Oh. So does it hurt, okay. friend? No. It the vacuum isn't drastic to see how she had no hair there, yeah. now we got them popping out. So we need Weird. that. We need that wow. reaction in order to get any sort of reduction or removal. And I always say that with hair or a tattoo. If you it's don't crazy. have a reaction, then it's not then working. The power is just not strong. The energy is oh, not strong. Okay. That's cool. So I always tell clients, don't be afraid of having a reaction. And there's obviously different levels of reactions. Yeah, everybody's different. Well, I, you don't want to burn somebody. That's why you want to have a safe machine, safe settings. But at the same time, we need, like I said, you don't have any hair. But we've got about, we've got about 25, 30 follicles popping out. Wow. Yeah, I know, I get really random areas. Good morning. It's 8.30 and we're in Tim Hortons. Friends say hi. Don't look at us. And <laughs> I have hash browns. I'm waiting for my decaf. And we're early for our tattoo. So we're just gonna chill out. And uh, yeah, I got this weird pain. So hopefully the pain goes away. It even hurts holding this stick. Like it hurts. <laughs> I don't know. I did something to myself because I'm getting old. So we're gonna go gas up and then go get some tattoos. So it's easier. Okay. On this vegan Hi, vlog. Hi, April. 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 Hi, Usually the foot is a twitchy spot. Tattoos are all done and we are now heading home. We've been on the road for like an hour or so. Um, yeah, so we're headed back to PG 
and I'm totally in love with my tattoos. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They turned out so awesome. They're now kind of like the weepy, yucky kind of stage. So here's my, oh, there's the one. Um, my leg one is all covered up, so I'll show you that one later. But this, <laughs> we're parked outside of Tim Hortons right now. <laughs> Brenda just ran inside and this elderly gentleman is looking at me like I have three heads. He's probably like, why are you talking to your phone? <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Trip's almost over. It was really, really fast. Quick and, well, there was a lot of pain involved, but quick and fun. So yeah, I'll check in with you. Oh, I had Tim Hortons, I had tea, and I also had, so for breakfast I had coffee and hash browns. And then for lunch after, um, I had a white bun with lettuce and tomato, and I had some tea. And then I just put my own hummus and um, stuff on it to make it really delicious. And that's all I've had today. Yeah, so see you soon. So I should be home in a few hours. And um, I'm gonna probably going to do my workout for today. Yesterday was a rest day, so that worked out perfectly. Um, that was when we did the Fish Creek Trails. Um, yeah, so and that's pretty much it. I'll just be unpacking and cleaning out my vehicle um and that's everything so i think that was day number four five and six um and i think i just missed one workout but i will um make it up tomorrow and when i go to the gym i'll just do both of the workouts i think that'll be fine to get me caught up thank you so much for watching if you liked my video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos hit the subscribe button and i'll see you all tomorrow